know many of you are fans of Sam Donaldson, none no more so than the team here at New Mexico First. We all know that Sam traveled the world for ABC News to cover wars and presidents and all manner of major crises for our nation, but tonight he's here in his home state to help all of us talk about how we have a healthier government and a healthier policy process here in New Mexico. I, for one, can't wait to hear what they figure out. Please welcome New Mexico's native son and my friend, Sam Donaldson. Thank you, Heather, how you carry on. It's a pleasure to be here back in my native state. It is the land of enchantment, and I and my wife, Sandy, who's here tonight, uh, enjoy our home in Albuquerque in the state. But enough about us. Heather's uh, capable staff was supported tonight by an excellent program committee chaired by the brilliant Clara Apodaca. Clara, where are you? Clara, stand up, Clara. Shy as always, that's our Clara. And she was helped, of course, by Ian Anderson, Joan Drake, Tom Geraghty, Johnny Montoya, and Jennifer Salisbury. Now, our format, to, our format tonight is rather simple. We'll talk a bit about how to improve the climate of good government, drawing on the experiences of the past year here in New Mexico and in our national legislature. And then we'll take questions from you. Now we have some fine students who are volunteers and they will pass among you and note cards have, um, they'll give you note cards for you to jot down your question. And importantly, your name. The students will collect your cards and when the time comes, they'll call on you when I get the cards and I'll call your name. If you'll come down, there'll be a microphone here and you can state your question to the panel. So let's get started. The issue at hand is legislative gridlock and how to get rid of it, how to improve the prospect even here in New Mexico. New Mexico First's honorary co-chairs, Senators Tom Udall and Martin Heinrich, have some ideas on this subject and they prepared some short videos from us from their Washington offices to jumpstart our conversation. First, let's hear what Tom Udall has to say. Hi everyone, Tom Udall here. I'm so glad to be a part of your program. What an important conversation you're having. Thanks to New Mexico First, to Sam, to your participants, and to Clara Apodaca, a true diplomat who's getting a much deserved Lifetime Achievement Award for making New Mexico a better place. It seems like government gridlock is just part of business now, even here at home. How do we get folks from members of Congress to City Hall to work together? Many of you know this is an issue I care a lot about. The 24-hour news cycle and multi-million dollar campaigns have too many politicians thinking about headlines and donations rather than constituents. I think campaign finance reform could make a big difference. But it's only part of the solution. That's why conversations like this one are so important. We need your ideas. When I think about this issue, I try to look at examples of things that work. One example is at the heart of this organization. Senator Jeff Bingaman and Senator Domenici co-founded New Mexico First. They worked together for decades, getting things done on a bipartisan basis. I try to follow their lead every day in the U.S. Senate. For example, when I introduce a bill, I always ask my staff to reach across the aisle for co-sponsors. We get more done by working across party lines, like the Burn Pits Registry, or Katie's Law to help crime victims, or progress on tech transfer. The key is that someone has to take the first step. Bipartisanship should be a verb because it takes action, it takes work. We need to bring policymakers together to work with each other and even more important, to listen. I look forward to hearing more about this discussion. I have a feeling I'll want to bring some of tonight's ideas back to Washington with me. Thank you for coming out tonight. Cheers, and have a great program. Thank you, Senator Udall. And now, let's hear from Senator Martin Heinrich and hear what he has to say. 
Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to share a few words at New Mexico First 2015 First Forum Lecture Series. The work that goes into these events to ensure that they are informative and yield productive outcomes is significant. I extend my sincere gratitude to all who made this forum possible and to the founders of this incredible organization, Jeff Bingaman and Pete Domenici. I would especially like to recognize Clara Apodaca, who is being honored this evening. From her service as First Lady, to Secretary of Cultural Affairs, to Senior Advisor to the U.S. Department of Treasury, to the President and CEO of the Hispanic Cultural Center, to her role on the board of Think New Mexico, Clara has devoted her life to our state. Congratulations, Clara, on your Lifetime Achievement Award. I commend all of the community leaders and lawmakers who are also being honored tonight who have proven their ability to put good policy above partisan politics. Thank you for your service. The first forum lecture series gives policymakers and community members a platform to engage with issues most important to New Mexico. The conversations that take place during this forum will help break through the partisanship and gridlock that's become all too common. I'm working in the United States Senate to bring back the spirit of bipartisanship so that we are able to have respectful and frank discussions about the issues that matter most. I was proud to work with my Republican colleague from Arizona, Senator Jeff Flake, to bring more regular bipartisan meetings back to the Senate to foster the kind of productive relationships that are critical for the Congress to yield tangible results for the American people. It is our hope that these meetings will continue to broaden the relationships and deepen the rapport among members, just like these forums do. It is my nature to be optimistic, and I have seen this great nation defy the odds again and again and again. And yes, I believe compromise and even bipartisanship are actually possible. Our country is strong because of rigorous debate, but debate doesn't mean endless gridlock. Despite our differences, there are issues where both parties can come together and find common ground. I will continue to seek pragmatic solutions to help build a future for our nation and New Mexico that all of our children deserve. I'm glad to be a partner in your efforts to do just that. New Mexico First is an outstanding organization, founded and run by outstanding individuals. By engaging on critical issues, you are helping to create change in our communities and build a brighter future for everyone. I'm glad to join my colleague, Senator Tom Udall, as an honorary co-chair of New Mexico First. Thank you again for the opportunity to share a few words with you. Congratulations to all of the awardees tonight, and enjoy the forum. Thank you, Senator.